Uh oh, I got worms. canola has worms cutworms in fact so the best way to look for these or to find them is find a bare spot see how there's canola growing there pretty bare so we start digging and right here there is a little bugger these are western pale cutworms and they are super hard on the canola. Um, some crops like peas and lentils or wheat, if they get chewed on or chewed off, the stems get chewed off by the cutworms, they'll regrow. But the canola is a one and done. So there only has one chance for that canola seed to come out of the ground. It won't send another shoot from the seed uh, like, a, like a lentil or a pea will. Um, because the seed comes out of the ground with the cotyledon seed, or the leaves. The first set of leaves that come out of the ground with the canola pushes the seed out of the ground too. So that's our problem. We find cutworms, we gotta spray them really quick because they won't, they have no chance to recover. So uh, we're gonna go see what we can find for chemical and get some ordered from the uh, co-op and get going. Uh, getting these cutworms stopped before they uh, stop our canola. So I'm on another field here. Only one plant for quite a ways here. I'm in a bare spot and right here is another chewed off stem. See what I can find. There's got to be one here somewhere. Another chewed off stem there. This whole row is gone for about five feet. This leaf, only one leaf there. There should be another, like symmetrical on the other side. A mirror to that one. Where you at, little buddy? There he is. Taking a little nap the way it looks. Not anymore, he's not. Something else that's out here is some flea beetles and they chew holes in the leaves and uh, this insecticide will also take care of those flea beetles. But there's a lot of damage in this field. Lots of blank rows. Got the sprayer going. He's on a second load right now. get the next batch of chemical pre-mixed for the sprayer for dad when he gets here and then we can just pump it right on real quick and he can get right back after it on the next load. LED light on there is uh, just shines down the booms where the spray comes out of the nozzles. Oh yeah, it looks cool. This is like a little blue light special.
been a few weeks since we sprayed the canola for uh, the cutworms. Uh, this canola is looking very good. The leaves look healthy. There is a couple little holes yet in some of these. There's some flea beetles, but they're definitely not really, you know, chewing on them bad. So I'm happy we caught them when we did. Well, that makes me feel better. I don't have worms anymore. Thanks for watching guys. Next video, we'll be uh, getting into the spraying and some peas and the wheat, looking at fields, some of that kind of stuff, seeing how things are looking. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy these videos. Keep watching. Oh, a few updates though. If you like these hats, hats are now available on the website fasteggmontana.com so head on over there check it out a few uh instagram feed is on there lots of pictures um, you can also go on instagram to fast egg fast.egg.mt for montana and uh kind of get a daily update on what's going on on the farm um as well as the facebook page there's links under there too and that's just fast egg on facebook so anyways Go check out the website if you want to order a hat. I've got this, this color and blue. So, anyways, thanks for watching again, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe, share it with everybody you know, because we gotta spread the word about what agriculture is really about.